Well, one of the most sought after public speakers in Louisville, it feels like, is Louisville Athletic Director Josh Hurd with airwaves percolating with uh, Kenny Payne speculation. The little athletic director has not really said anything to the public during all this. Should he, Rick Posich? Well, as a media person, of course, I think he should always talk, um, especially to us. Uh, but yeah, when, what I'll say is when you don't talk, there's a vacuum, and other people do, and it's been filled in this town ever since the loss to Arkansas State, which was bad, which was embarrassing, as we wrote and said. Uh, but we had a lot of people in this town that were thinking after the Pepperdine game that something was going to happen on Monday. Nothing happened. Kenny Payne's still in charge, as he should be in charge. Uh, and that was a whole narrative that, that continues to percolate. Is he going to be the coach after the Kentucky game? I can understand now it's so close to the game you might not want to say anything. But after the Kentucky game, something needs to be said about the direction of the program. And I remind people, Kenny Payne, uh, the, the conversation is almost like he's 0-11. He is 5-6, and six, and he was this close to beating Texas and being 6-5, and five, and there wouldn't be this conversation. Maybe. Maybe wouldn't be. Probably wouldn't be if he'd beaten Texas. But look, with a, from, from an athletic director standpoint, I'll put away the reporter hat for a minute. When you go out and talk, then you add a little more fuel to the speculation, and everybody hears what they want to hear, or if they don't hear what they, what they wanted to hear, they're mad at you, so you've still ticked off a bunch of people. It's really a no-win situation unless you know exactly what you're going to say. And what, what we can only read from this is that Josh Hurd hasn't made a decision. He's not sure he wants to come out and vo voice confidence for his basketball coach. He certainly isn't ready to come out and fire his basketball coach, so I think in the absence of all that, maybe you're better off not talking, at least to get a picture of what happens against Kentucky. At some point, he is going to have to come out and turn the temperature down. But sometimes when you try and do that, you wind up turning it up just inadvertently. We've seen it happen here before. You can follow all of this, obviously, at our website. Rick's writing about it a lot. I'm writing about it. WDRB.com. Go there and click on sports.